Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Ethernet LAN wide connected but no internet connection. So if you are connected but you're not getting any internet connection, I will be sharing seven effective solutions that you need to apply one by one, and I'm pretty sure that the problem will be fixed. But before starting, I would recommend that try plugging out your Ethernet cable from your PC, wait for a few seconds and then plug in back and check back that if this fix the problem and if not then let's start the troubleshooting method and in the first step we need to troubleshoot the internet connection so just on the search box of windows 10 windows 11 whichever windows operating system you're using in the search box type troubleshoot from the suggestion choose troubleshoot settings now here click on additional troubleshooters and on the top you will find internet connection just click on it and then click run this troubleshooter this will start detecting the problem i have already fixed the problem so probably on your case it can be anything it can give you some suggestion that where the problem is or else you can get this message where it will ask you to troubleshoot my connection to the internet so follow the steps recommended by the troubleshooter and see if this works for you and if not then you can close it and in the next step we need to enable the private network and disable the metered connection now on the windows icon just make a right click and choose settings then click on network and internet now from the left hand menu option click on ethernet and here it will display the ethernet name so whatever your uh, ethernet name is uh, you have to click on it and in the network profile if it's been set to public then you have to choose to private and in the metered connection if it's enabled then you need to disable this all right the pub network profile should be to private and the metered connection should be disabled once done just close it now in the next step we need to change the dna server address so again in the search box type ncpa.cpl and from the suggestion choose this option here it will display all the network adapters you have to look for the ethernet just make a right click on it and choose properties once it comes up look for internet protocol version 4 double click on it and here it will be checked to obtain dns server address automatically you have to choose use the following dns server address check this option in the preferred dns server address type 8888 and in the alternate DNS server, you have to type 8, 8, 4, and 4. Now click OK. Then OK again. Once done, now make a right click on the Ethernet connection and choose Disable. Now wait for 3 to 4 seconds. Again, make a right click on it and choose Enable. After doing this, check back that if this fixed the problem. In case it's still if you have the problem, then follow the next method just close everything and again make a right click on the windows icon choose settings from the suggestions now come to network and internet and at the bottom you will find network reset just click on it once you come here just click on reset now and after that wait until it's been completed all right and after that close it Check back if this fix a problem and if not then we also need to update the network adapter. Probably the adapter has not been updated or it's been corrupted so we need to update it. So make a right click on the windows icon and choose device manager. Now here look for the network adapters and then you have to look for the one that is for the ethernet. This is for the VMware, so this is not the one I'm looking for. And I have this one. The above one is the Wi-Fi, then again Wi-Fi. This is the one that I have, Realtek. So you need to identify your, just make a right click on it and choose update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. Now, if there are updates available, it will automatically update it. And in case there are already updated, then it will give you this message that the best driver for your device are already installed so in the in this case you can close it and check back if the problem is fixed and not then you have to make a right click on it and have to click on uninstall device 
once you click on uninstall device it will be uninstalling it and once done just come back again right click on the network adapters then click on scan for hardware changes and this will be back again now you have to manually in case if it doesn't work uh, with the automatic update then you have to manually update download and update the network adapter so you can look here that which ada which ethernet adapter you have like in my case it's realtek pci so i will just come to google and i will type the same realtek pci gb family controller this is the one that i'm having and it will directly take me to the website And from here, I can download the driver. So you can see it says Windows 10 auto installation program. Uh, so whichever you have, you can also add driver. And if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending, you can add that keyword as well. So it will take you to the website. Just come to the website, download the network adapter, just run it. And once it's been done, restart your PC. And I'm pretty sure that the problem will be fixed. But I'm very sure that above six method, the previous six method where that we discussed, that will be helping you to fix the problem. Because the last method in case, if you have challenge, if you have any problem, like downloading the manual driver, then you can let me know in the comment section. I will try to help you out. So that's all guys. If this video helped you, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.